Have you ever felt like you needed a change? You have everything you ever wanted, and yet something pulls and nags at you to switch things up. In today's Hello Hayes letter, we have a submission from someone who feels like they're in the middle of an existential crisis. We're gonna hear them out in their letter and then give some perspective. If you're here for my weekly podcast, which typically comes out on Tuesdays, this week is audio only, but I am here with this video today, so shall we dive in? Hello Hayes, I'm 27 and I have the itching feeling that I need a change. I don't know what it should be, but I feel it nonetheless. There's three main factors that are driving this feeling. One, I was supposed to work in a famous national park during the summer of 2020, but COVID derailed that opportunity. It was supposed to be my big adventure. Now I feel like I need to step out of my comfort zone in order to live life to the fullest. Two, I've had the same core girl group for almost 10 years. We're like family. I consider these women to be my absolute best friends, but some of them have been making me feel bad lately. I accidentally saw texts between two of them saying things like, I'd be fine if she didn't show up, or she's been quite annoying lately. We talked it out and resolved the issue. We've been friends for a decade, so fixing things was important to me. I still feel a stain on the relationship though. I know friends grow apart, especially at this age, but still, this feeling contributes even more to my I need a change dilemma. And three, my boyfriend lives two hours away from me in another major city in our state and we decided that next year we'll move in together. He's open to moving to my city and I'm open to moving to his. Part of me wants to move there, to start our lives together, to give me this change that I've been itching for, but I'm also scared to start a new job, to leave my friends who make me feel amazing and wanted and happy, to be farther from my parents who I'm super close to, to leave the city that I've known and loved for 27 years. I know this is solely my decision, Hayes, but I wanna hear your thoughts, perspectives, anything at all, really. I know nothing's permanent and that I could move back if I hated it, but what if I don't? What if I love it? Yours, stuck in my comfort zone. <sighs> About three years ago, my husband and I printed out a map of the United States and started circling cities that we thought we could live in. We were in New York City at the time, and for most of my life, I thought I'd stay there forever. And maybe in another universe with another partner, I would. Maybe I will again in this lifetime. But for now, we're in the city we circled that fit both our desires at the time. Brian's to have access to ocean and mountains and sunshine, and mine, a city with great food and art and career opportunities for me as a writer. So we chose Los Angeles, and it's far, but it kind of feels like home. Our friends and family all have completely different memories of how long we said we'd be gone. Like some friends insist that we said it was gonna be two years, but I can't imagine saying it would be two years. Two years is kind of crazy to like move across the country. Here's what I mean when I said it feels like home. There's not a day that goes by where I'm not aware of how far I am from the people who raised me. I know this isn't the home where I'm from, but it took leaving that home to really show me that home is not one place or one person. Home is something that moves with you because it is you. It feels like home in the way where I can't picture leaving, but I also can't picture staying, like both seem kind of crazy to me. All I can really see is right now and like maybe just beyond my window. And that's okay. It also scares me to think that I might never want to go home. Like I love it here, but what if I love it so much that this is forever? But I don't think it's a good or worthy use of my time to be scared of that right now. How sad if I spent all this time on my adventure worrying about loving it too much. Why would I dread some future decision that I have to make only because I'm assuming that it will be hard to make that decision? When I think back about all of the decisions I've made in my life, like I was ready to make them. It doesn't mean that I was free of fear, but I was ready. I was ready to make that decision, more ready than I was a month before. That's why I made the decision then, because I felt like it was time. So I trust that whenever the time comes for us to make a decision about whether we're staying or going, that I will be ready. I'll be ready to face the music, but also the downsides of that decision. Just like we did when we moved here, because I too was scared and sad to leave the people I love. That's really painful what happened with your friends. I'm so sorry that you saw those texts. One of the worst feelings in the world when you see something that you're not supposed to see. I'm impressed that you addressed it, and I'm not surprised that it still stings. When I think about that experience though, in relation to your desire for adventure, it doesn't sound to me like you're running from something. I don't think it's a bad thing that this experience is encouraging your desire for change. Truth is that the group dynamic is gonna evolve whether you stay or you go. People have babies and weddings and they themselves change, sometimes in ways that bring you closer together and others that just make you think fondly of what used to be. They become OG besties in the Hello Haze Six Besties universe. Video on that coming soon. 10 years is also a really long time to have one core friend group and have that be like the only core friend group. Even if all those friendships were rock solid, I'd imagine that you want to meet new people. You want to have friendships that begin now without all of the history and without all of the baggage. Those friendships are amazing. The ones where they know your roots, they know your family, they've seen you in every era, but you're also a new person now and you deserve to meet people now to start fresh. I know some people think it's impossible to make close friends in your late 20s, but it's not. 
It's not. And frankly, when we moved here, I had the attitude of like, I'm not here to make any new friends. I'm here to write and go on an adventure. And yet I've made some precious friends while living here, all while still watering some of the bonds from back home. Making a big change is scary though. So a few of the things that helped me were one, framing the move as an adventure. Even if you sense that it might be more permanent, you don't need to say that just yet. Call it an adventure. Second was inviting friends and people from home to visit us pretty shortly after we moved. Since LA is so far from where we were in New York, we made it a priority to try to live somewhere where we could have a full guest bedroom so that people, yes, they'd have to pay for flights to come visit us, but at least they wouldn't have to pay for a hotel. And then actually inviting people right away, you know, texting our friends saying, we want you to come visit, not just waiting and hoping that they would initiate themselves. And then lastly, remembering, like you said, that nothing is permanent, but not only the living situation, but also my feelings. Feelings themselves are not permanent. So if you feel scared right now, you will not feel scared forever. I think part of going on an adventure that involves risk means trusting that you are gonna be okay no matter what. I don't know, friend, I can't think of a better reason for change than wanting to go on an adventure. You're not moving for a man or to escape a problem. You're moving to address a deep hunger inside of you. One that was ripped from you in the summer of 2020, as it was the adventure ripped from so many people that summer. So many people feel just like you, that they lost time, that they lost an opportunity. And I understand why you'd wanna take that now. People say to us sometimes when they hear that we've moved across the country, they're like, yeah, you know, I would love to do something like that. I really would, but I can't imagine being so far from family. And you know, I really hope they don't mean that. I hope they're just being nice. And what they mean to say is you're fucking crazy for moving. I would never want to do that because if they did want to do it, if they wanted to, and they had the opportunity and they didn't because of fear, not everyone has the itch for adventure, but if you do and you can, I think you got to take it. You can also change your hair. <laughs> Changing your hair works too. <laughs>